morning. Hello. Hey, good morning. Thank you for joining us at our latest Sylvia Findings live stream. I thought I would do something different and uh, actually start exactly on time today. <laughs> I know it's rare. We're normally a couple of minutes ahead. So uh, fully expect if anybody's going to join us, uh, it'll be, uh, you know, soon, slowly over the next couple of minutes. Um, there's one, Vicky Osawiki. <laughs> Good to see you again. Um, I, why are you interested in watching this? It's so random. So uh, not what you do, but uh, happy to see you anyway, either, no matter what, either way. Um, actually, I was speaking to my Vicky. Um, like just after last week when uh, <laughs> when you joined us on the stream uh, anyway um, where was I now you threw me thank you very much for that uh, but um, here we are another Wednesday morning live stream from uh, the Sylvia finding showroom in beautiful Richmond British Columbia which is still unseasonably hot I don't know, fam. We're in trouble, I think. <laughs> I'm not going to be a doom and gloomer because nobody wants that here in your jewelry live stream. Everybody wants to be happy. Yay! It's all awesome and everything uh, while, while the planet's burning around us. Um, <laughs> but moving right along. <laughs> um, this week... I want to get that. Well, actually, before I, I go on to what, what we're doing uh, again, because we're just going to be continuing ear wires and stuff like that, and um, and a few other things. Um, I just want to talk about uh, a little bit about um, some housekeeping things, of course, you know, all the regular stuff. If you share the video, we'll send you one of those free polishing cloths, blah, 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 all that stuff. If you've ever watched the first, you know, three or four minutes of any live stream, which I think we're up to 58 or 59, something like that. I never remember. I never look. I never pay attention. And I'll tell you the honest truth. I, I have never gone back and watched one of these after the fact. So... I'm just uh, I'm just pulling it off the top of my head most of the time, so uh, you know, as is my want. Uh, um, shipping is uh, still awesome, really good. I don't know. I, we don't have any uh, complaints about anything really. Um, there are some weird new rules uh, shipping into the uh, European Union. So if you're an EU country, you're watching from an EU country right now. Um, if you're placing an order with us anywhere, if it's on our website, um, I think on our website we ask for our phone numbers, but I know that on Etsy they do not. Uh, but if you're ordering from there, please, uh, and you don't want your order to be delayed, you know, let us know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell, hi, I want to wave. I'm going to totally script your name. Uh, Venkatesan. 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 Anyway, namaste. Thank you for <laughs> for uh, joining us on this uh, Wednesday morning live stream. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, EU. Uh, we need your phone number, basically. Uh, your phone number has to be somewhere on the package uh, in order for it to get through uh, customs. And now, as of July 1st, every package... Uh, it used to be that if the package was under... I forget what it was, 25 euros or something like that. 20, I forget, whatever it was. Um, it would just go right through. You wouldn't have to pay any duties or taxes or anything like that. But now, everything, but I mean everything, even if it's like one euro or, you know, 0.50. I don't, do they have cents? What are the cents in euros? <laughs> what is the cent analog, the equivalent to, for a fraction of a euro? Do they have a name for that? What a rube. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, boy. My privilege is showing. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is. Anyway, my point is, no matter how inexpensive the piece is, um, if it's product, you're going to pay taxes. On it. You're going to pay duties and taxes on it. Um, so they need your phone number because they need to get, be able to get a hold of you uh, to get your money before you can get your packages. 
Um, I just recently, yesterday, in fact, recently. Oh no, it was Monday. <laughs> uh, so it was just, on Monday, I got back two packages that we had shipped. Uh, one to Germany and one to France. Um, and you know, I never get we never get returns. You know, because people get their product that oh, that's not true. I have had things break. Uh, you know, if we pack them wrong or something. It's rare, just so you know, it's rare. No, very rarely happens. Um, but these, these, uh, came, they're like six months ago I shipped these, and they only just came back now um, because of something weird, like just like, I don't know, I've heard, the order of the address was incorrect, you know, and uh, you know, different countries have different formats for how their addresses go, and you would expect that, you know, a postal service getting stuff from other places in the world would you know expect those kind of weirdness things to happen now the addresses that we used are the ones that are all supplied by us by the customers by etsy by uh the and i'm not sure if most of them are done or or are any anyway, whatever verified by a software package somewhere so uh, let's get those things eradicated <laughs> not postal services postal services are great just um, uh, errors in the shipping and stuff so uh, phone numbers are very important I always stay cool even when I'm baking hot nice to see you though Vicky Yay. Um, and it's been baking hot here in British Columbia, beautiful west coast of Canada. Uh, I, I miss the rain. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I didn't move to the Pacific Northwest for the sun. I'm just saying. <laughs> Where's my overcast? Where's my drizzle? I, I want to be wearing a coat <laughs> in uh, you know July. Maybe that's a little extreme, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I got this heat. I hate it. Uh, if I want this kind of weather, you know, I'll move to Mexico or something, you know? Anyway. Um, Sylvie Mack wants to be in our video. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I never uh, let random strangers just come on the stream. Uh, thing is. So, uh, yeah, if we hadn't... Uh, think if you have something uh, you want uh, me to share on a thing... You know, get a hold of me. We'll uh, get in touch and uh, we'll work it out. And I'll bring you on uh, another time. But just randomly off the top of the, on Facebook, what? A Facebook random stranger wants to come on the, the stream live. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Totally safe. What could go wrong? <laughs> Today we're gonna continue on um, with. Uh, and I hope you accept that uh, ribbing in the uh, the gentle ribbing in the uh, spirit with which it was. Uh, delivered um right but, but you can see how that would be weird anyway we're going to continue on with uh, uh ear wires uh, last week we did uh, tons of ear because we have tons of ear wires great crazy shapes crazy things we're going to continue along with that with earring related um items um i tried to keep everything sort of similar together so uh it may go a little quicker than normal because um you know, uh, thing, but I've added, I've got more trays than I normally do, but only because there'll be like uh, one thing will come in like you know size four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter, seven millimeter, eight millimeter, and it, you know there's only so much I can you know blab on about uh, any one particular thing. But before we uh, get to the uh, uh, more traditional you know, items, uh, we're just gonna finish up one of the. Um, trace that I was doing last week which is you know some funky ear wires uh, well you see what I mean when we get there let me just turn this camera around and twink. <laughs> there's a picture of a fan awesome so our first item today EW069 and um, I'm gonna give you two prices for everything. One is the uh, R is a retail price, W is a wholesale price. 829, right, is a retail price. And 586 on this is the wholesale price. Anything that comes by the pair, obviously this price is by the pair. Um, 
And the only criteria to get the wholesale price is you need to spend $150. That's at the wholesale level, right? Um, so yeah, EW069 is a lovely kind of stylized heart. It's just, you know, ear wire with a stylized heart dangle and a loop, which, uh, I don't know, Can I, or a heart within a heart. You're the whole in my heart. <laughs> you left a piece of my heart behind. I don't know, so many cheesy uh, lines you could come up with, uh, you know, for that kind of thing. So that, that's the first item. I've got a couple of ear wires that uh, I, I, I don't know that I showed some of these last week, but um, EW611 with a retail price of $737 and a wholesale price of $491. These are oh, locked. <laughs> uh, so these are just a lovely, lovely, you know, standard ear wire, right? regular old uh, French hook with a lovely little pattern soldered to that. I, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't want to take up time. It's cool though. Cool, interesting, very kind of, uh, um, I don't know, Victorian looking. Here's one that's a little more relatable. EW624 with a retail price of $12.64 a pair and a wholesale price of $8.42. Uh, it's just, and this, we sell, boy, we sell a ton of these. And, uh, I mean, you can see why, right? It's just a regular, you know, standard old earring, right? Ear wire with a gorgeous flower cast in there, antiqued, with a loop down at the bottom. You know, I mean, like, how can you go wrong with that? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if you dangled a spider charm or something for that would be a little incongruous. But I don't know. Even that might be cool. <laughs> I don't judge. EW778 with a retail price of $584 and a wholesale price of $389 a pair. Uh, and these are a little more delicate. These are also super popular. Um, it's a little, just saying again, another standard ear wire with uh, a little kind of, um, you know, the Bali inspired, that kind of granulation. Um, golly, you see beads like this all the time, right? Beads with those dots. Right. It's kind of a cute little daisy flower, just out of little sterling dots. Very cool for your designs. This one is a little more involved. EW620 with a retail price of $28.08 and a wholesale price of $18.72 a pair. And these, I love these Marcusite, right? So the, that's what would present out the front. It's that lovely drop with the Marcusites in there. It's just a regular, you know, uh, kind of a smaller ear wire. Although, uh, the nice thing about this, having this um, be seemingly shorter, is that this uh, part, this drop, will look, you know, will sit higher up on your earring, or higher up in your ear. I guess it depends on how far away from the, the edge of your earlobe your ear hole is, but um, anyway. Uh, and, you know, set with margasites. Can't go wrong. A little drop. And I think this is our last ear wire type thing. EW015 with a retail price of $663 and a wholesale price of $415. And this, again, pretty tall ear wire, right? With a lovely, I don't know, kind of cone effect going on down at the bottom, uh, right? I don't know. Kind of simple, kind of elegant, kind of uh, lovely. Now, we're going to move on to EW721 with a retail price of $16.64 and a wholesale price of $10.40 a pair. Now, these kind of, uh, you know, pretty common. You know, everybody's seen these around. These are, you know, screw bags, 
right? The, the lovely thing about these screw backs is that these have a hinged, uh, you know, lever on them, right? Tension lever. So uh, you can get this on once you get the, um, the tension good, you know, you can just open and close it like that and not mess with this every time you need to, you know, pull them on and take them off. Um, like you do with just about all the other ones that we have. And this one has uh, kind of a little cup, little, not really a cup, I guess it is, kind of like a little scoop, scooped cup uh, for gluing or soldering or whatever you want to put on there. Very uh, traditional, although a little bit of a new version of it. These are, these ones are, are way more traditional. These are more what you expect to see when you think of those uh, screw backs or screw ons. <laughs> I'm going to try not to get uh, a block here. EW722 with a retail price of 1706 and a wholesale price of 1066. It was a very good year. Battle of Hastings. Right? Wasn't that 1066? No? Nobody knows their history here? Come on! Magna Carta, all that stuff. Uh, so, so you got this lovely... Uh, <laughs> I know, you come to the jewelry uh, stream, not for the history, but for the actual uh, jewelry, Mark. Okay. So this, whatever. Regular old uh, uh, screw back. The, uh, these are the kind, and this has that nice, big, wide... Uh, smooth um, pad because this I mean let's face it it's like <laughs> like a miniature torture device right you need ah, ah, ah. you need to you know squeeze that until it doesn't come off your ear which what price beauty I guess and a nice big pad to solder something on there these I've never understood why <laughs> people love these uh, things I don't know that people love them. I guess, I don't know. You get used to it. And, oh, here's a, not that one. Here's this one. Here's a little bit uh, bigger version of that. EW713 with a retail price of $13.10 and a wholesale price of $8.19. So this is basically the same thing. It's just the, uh, the... The pad is bigger, and so is the, uh, the screw hold. And it's just a little tiny, um, I don't know, flattened drop, right? That's the, the other end of this. Um, this. This one, I just noticed the screw on this has way more uh, revolutions. So, uh, you know, each turn is a little less incremental, which might be better, uh, you know, when you're screwing it into your thing if you, you don't want to go too far and uh, pinch yourself way more than you need but these of course you need to uh, use this with uh, a good two-part epoxy to glue this onto something or uh, or solder or something on there um, you know but it's not really the kind of thing that you can just attach something to uh, unlike these which are basically the same idea only these also have a loop down at the bottom, EW712, with a retail price of $13.52 and a wholesale price of $8.45 a pair. Um, <laughs> that's about right. Here we are, uh, 20 minutes in, and the audience dwindles as people realize that there's aren't going to be explosions or tricks or anything like that. So we've got this lovely <laughs> screw-on uh, thing, again with that uh, tapered pad, little uh, teardrop pad that you can glue or solder something to, but this also has a loop that you can dangle something from, which is, uh, you know, I don't know, super versatile if you want to have something dangling from it. Also, as well as um, just soldered to the front, or glued to the front. Um, now these, I've got a couple of these, EW723 for with a retail price of $12.90 and a wholesale price of $8.06. These are a kind of a lever back, not really a lever back, yeah, that's a lever back, um, right, with that comfort uh, pad on the front and on the back so your ear, ear lobe gets pinched between 
these two things. And this has a cup and peg for, uh, and this cup and peg is about four millimeters uh, long. I don't know if you happen to notice that in the, the uh, description there. It says pearl four millimeter. Now this pad is four millimeters wide, but boy, you could get like a six millimeter or an eight millimeter pearl in there easily, right? Which is quite nice. I don't quite like that. Um, let's start. I have another EW720 with a retail price of $13.52 and a wholesale price of $8.45 a pair. This is another pearl um, uh, lever back, I guess. Um, it's got that hinge that opens up, right? This is kind of an ingenious. Um, uh, thing too. It's it's really only two parts, right? There's not a third part for a spring or something that could get damaged. It's uh, it's all here, you know. In here, this is a uh, thing. So, um, not in this one because. Uh, but oh, but there's one coming up that I'll talk about. Uh, something about this about how you should treat this. Uh, but this has just got this great big seven millimeter um, cup and peg you would glue a sphere onto and uh, even though the cup is only seven millimeters wide i bet you can get a good uh, 10 or 12 millimeter uh, pearl glued to that i think that would be awesome and uh, here's just a little bit bigger version of that one uh, ew719 with a retail price of 1508 a pair and a wholesale price of 943 a pair this is for eight millimeter pearl and this again same same thing it's just that uh, lever back clip on it's really not really a lever back it's more of a, a clip on uh, thing I've been calling these lever backs um, with that nice big cup Right, that's an eight millimeter cup, but you could put easily a 12 or 14 millimeter pearl glued to that. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be, you could put an eight millimeter pearl in that and it would be just fine, but just saying. Here we have another clip on EW718 with a retail price of $23.40 a pair and a wholesale price of $14.63 a pair. And this has a giant 12 millimeter, but it's just a flat pad, right? So, use your clip-on, right? And this is just a flat pad that you would glue something on here or uh, you can solder this to something. Now, if you're going to solder this, this is what we're going to talk about before. Um, this part of the clip-on, the part that goes against the ear, right? Uh, the way this works, the, ten the way the tension is put on here is that this piece has a little tab, right? that gets pulled over the edge of the, uh, the pad. Uh, and then when you pull this down, that stretches that open and that creates tension on there. And when you push this closed, this creates more tension in the other direction. So um, you need this piece of metal, right? This one, this part, the part that goes against your ear. You need this piece uh, to stay stiff to stay hard if you solder this all together and you keep all of this connected um i mean no matter how good you are this is going to get hot enough to begin to recrystallize and um I'm not going to explain it all here but i am going to do a video that explains soldering and temper and and how that works and why it works and uh, uh a little um material dynamics here uh, but if you let this get hot enough when you solder um, you know something to this which is going to happen just by virtue of you know connecting and you have to get this piece hot enough for the solder to melt and flow against it which if you're using a regular silver solder is like uh, I don't know 1350 1360 degrees Fahrenheit of course uh, sorry to all your metric guys um, I don't even know what that is anymore. 680, 690, something like that. 
<laughs> I forget. I'm totally wrong. I know I'm totally wrong. Or maybe I'm not. Whatever it is. It's hot. Anyway, uh, this will become uh, soft, dead soft which is how you make uh, sterling silver dead soft. So if you do that and you keep this connected, um, this is not going to be as effective uh, a pinch. It's got to stay stiff there. So um, this is connected to here just by these two little things. You just pull these down. I'm not going to do it here, but you just pull those in and then these little posts, you know, can pop out of that. And then you can just remove this solder your piece to that and then put that back in and it'll be just as <coughs> tense in the good way not tense like oh my god i'm gonna fall apart uh as it was when you started that's a little too long of an explanation for something that probably nobody's going to ever use but it's good to know ew702 <laughs> with a retail price of 1232 and a wholesale price of 948 uh, and these, I, I don't know why these are in here, but these are totally incongruous uh, with the earrings. I uh, think, except that they're kind of like cute little chandelier parts, little connectors, you know, three to one. Although you can also technically use these uh, for a multi strand. You know, if you have a multi strand necklace, you know, you can have the um, clasp deal coming in this way, right? And then you can have the uh, the necklace. A multi-strand necklace coming out here or bracelet you know whatever this is kind of long for a bracelet or uh ideally or maybe not ideally because who's to say what's ideal for these but uh ostensibly these are designed for earrings right to do earring chandeliers you know uh, chandelier earring parts so they're very cool it's ew702 and i don't know what they're called earring maybe we're really pushing the earring <coughs> use of these uh ew 702 1232 is the whole retail price 948 is the wholesale price i think i said that too bad i'm saying it again here's another one uh ew 700 with a retail price of 1173 and a wholesale price of 902 uh and again same idea it's just a little cute little earring part I think you can use this in pretty much any any orientation this way or that way also looks cool. I don't know which way would you say is up or down? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, don't because I'm not going to read it. <laughs> I mean, you can, but, uh, you know, if I'm being honest, I'm not going to read it. EW, so let me just say, we're just going to move on. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of um, earring settings, earring posts. They're not all settings, but they're all earring posts. Uh, these are all called earring posts because they're just a post, you know, kind of obvious. Uh, the first ones are these. Let me just get a bigger one out um, just so that you can see. Everybody's seen these, right? These are what they call uh, uh, snap-in settings snap-ons es288 with a retail price of a dollar 30 a pair and a wholesale price of 82 cents a pair uh, these are for 2.5 millimeter round stones right these just have that um, um, snap-on setting and you could do this a couple ways uh, to get them in there you can uh, hold on to the setting like this you could put your stone uh, say on you know your, the table upside down and push this on until all until the tips of these go past the girdle and then they'll snap closed right they'll get stretched open and snap closed and when they get snap closed i don't know some people will tell you that that's it you don't need to do anything else but uh, uh, you know better to tweak them all closed after the uh, girdle but but they are super simple to uh set stones in there but I, I don't think it's just a function of uh, i mean the name snap in just kind of suggests that that's all you have to do you just need to snap them in but uh, once you snap them in you do need to tweak these uh these prongs in a little bit and i would even go so far as to push the tips of those down onto the crown of your stone a little and this comes in uh, that 2.5 millimeter that we just talked about and it also comes in a 
3.3 millimeter version ES173 with a retail price of $1.51, a wholesale price of a dollar a pair. And uh, this also comes in the 4 millimeter version ES174 with a retail price of 208 and a wholesale price of $1.39. And I think the biggest of this version we have is this one, six millimeter, oh, five millimeter. Um, ES 293 with a retail price of 385 and a wholesale price of 241. And I'm gonna say something a little blasphemous. I bet dollars to donuts, it's a real expression, look it up, <laughs> that you could put a six millimeter stone in there. You know, I mean, look how big that that angle is there that goes over the uh, the girdle. Uh, I bet you can pull this out to put a five, six millimeter stone in there. And I, I, I would never say that for like a traditional basket setting. Um, but these, uh, um, boy, <clears throat> those tabs, you could pull quite a ways out. We have another <coughs> version of this that's uh, kind of a little more... Uh, I don't know, a little more uh, Tiffany inspired, you know, that kind of Tiffany sort of setting. They are ostensibly uh, snap-ins, although I, I wouldn't uh, just snap in those because you definitely need to push the tops of those prongs down over onto the girdle once you've got the stone in there. But... Uh, ES290 is the 6 millimeter version of that, 242 a pair, and the wholesale price is $1.61 a pair, and uh, I showed you the bigger one first this time. Anyway, so here's the same idea, same one, as this is just a 5 millimeter version of that, right? Lovely four prong setting ES289 with a retail price of 225 and a wholesale price of $1.51 a pair. Uh, you know, and these are great. If you just have little, um, you know, pairs of stones lying around, you want to make a pair of earrings, these are the, you know, little studs. These are the quickest way to do it. You'll just have a cute little um, stone right where your ear hole is, and that's it. You might see the tops of the prongs along the girdle, but nobody looks at that stuff, right? Uh, now we're moving on to the ball studs. D01401 with a retail price of $243 and a wholesale price of $1.95. And um, these are called ball studs because, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a ball on the end of the post. It's not rocket science, it's jewelry. And this has a, just an open loop down on the bottom of that. You can use uh, uh, to dangle whatever you want to that. So, super traditional. I love it. We've got this 3 millimeter version. We've also got a 4 millimeter version, D01402, with a retail price of $381 a pair and a wholesale price of $238 a pair. Uh, and again, still that same 4 millimeter. And this is, uh, you know, solid. They're not hollow, right? So they're solid um, sterling silver balls. I'm going to try not to make a crack. D01403 with a retail price of $4.30 and a wholesale price of $3.35. And this one is for a 5 millimeter ball, right? Again, with the open loop that you can dangle anything you want from. Here's And this is the biggest one we have of this. Um, <laughs> gear studs. Yeah. <laughs> ES191. That's a typo, but it's a cool one, right? We can just call these gear studs. ES191 with a retail price of $393 and a wholesale price of $303. And um, this is, just, again, 6 millimeter uh, ball. Uh, with the open loop, this has a little bit of a, it looks like a little pad on there, but this is all one piece. It's not like it's a pad that's soldered to the, oh, it might be, now that I'm thinking of it. And anyway, here's another, a uh, little bit different one. This is kind of like a flat oval. Well, let me do the price first. Uh, 
ES102 with a retail price of $13.83 a pair and a wholesale price of $8.65 a pair. This is... Right? So it's two little... Um, well, I don't know. Hemispheres kind of kept soldered together. So it's kind of like a flattened oval. Or, or a flattened round right but if you look at it sideways it's more uh, saucer shaped nice big round yeah so that's 16 millimeters wide that that width of those dots so those are pretty big um and here we have a little bit different take on that es03 with a retail price of 601 a pair and a wholesale price of three thirty-eight a pair. Now these are, it's a ball stud, but it has a length of chain attached to it, right? So that's a four millimeter ball stud with a length of chain, and like a one inch of chain or about uh, 24 millimeters of chain. Oh, is that what it said down in the back? No, I'm just like thinking of it. 29 millimeters, so that's almost an inch and a quarter of that dangling off that. And Segwaying from that nicely is this ES04 with a retail price of $662 and a wholesale price of $413. This is uh, not a ball stud, but it's um, one of those earring posts with a chain soldered to it. And a loop hanging from the bottom of that. Um, what is that? 54 millimeters of chain. So that's like two inches of chain. Uh, I've seen this done a couple of ways. I've seen this where this just hangs in there. You put a little back on there and that, you know, hangs there. Or you can pull this all the way through the ear so that um, some of this hangs out both sides, the front and the back of uh, the earlobe. You know, so however you want to do it. Uh, I can't see it from my house, as they say. <laughs> it's up to you. Now, um, backing up from this a bit, these, you know, earring posts, these soldering posts, we've got these in a couple of different uh, sizes. And these are just, you know, um, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not going to pull them out, but uh, uh, we have them in a couple of different uh, gauges and a couple of different lengths. Uh, these are, you know, pre-fashioned with the uh, the little notch in there. The notch is the part that goes through. On one side is domed also. Um, the side with the notch is domed. It's a little bit rounded on the end. That's the side that goes through your ear, right? So you want to make sure that you solder the other end to whatever you're soldering it to. Uh, right. And the best way to get these on, whatever you're soldering them to, is to... Uh, dip the uh the solder end this uh, the flat end the side that doesn't have the notch and the domed end put some flux on there put a little dot of flux on wherever you want to solder it to put a little chip of solder on where you want to solder it to heat the piece until the solder melts usually when that happens uh, it'll happen in two stages first the solder will melt and turn into a little sphere that is uh that's not when, even though the solder is liquid, you don't want to put the post in there yet. You need to wait until the piece reaches the temperature that the solder will melt and flow into it. So it'll spread out into a little puddle. Then you'll stick that in there. Look very closely, right? So you're holding on to that. You put the post in there as best you can. And in a second or so, once you keep the heat on there, you'll see the solder kind of flow up the side of the post. Then you can move the flame away, but you got to keep holding on to that for a second. And then once that cools, uh, you can let go. And that's how you solder that. If you do it pretty much any other way, um, you might get the piece, the posts to stick on there because they'll be, because uh, the solder will melt and flow and stick against it. But you have to reach the temperature of recrystallization. I'm going to get a little too scientific here, so never mind. Keep an eye on my video for soldering coming soon. So this one, LC00504, is an 18-gauge post, 11 millimeters long, 49 cents a pair, and 42 cents is the wholesale price a pair. 
Uh, we've got uh, LC00201, which is, and I'm, I don't know, I'm not going to show you them all because it's just a little of metal, right? It's just a little, <laughs> a little length of tube, or not tube, a little length of, uh, you know, a little length of wire, I guess, that has a notch cut into one end and uh, domed and that part goes through your ear, the other side gets soldered. Anyway, uh, LC00201, this is for a 21 gauge wire uh, and 11 millimeter long post, 30 cents a pair, 25 cents is a, re is a wholesale price a pair. LC00101, um, 21 gauge, uh, which I think is kind of the most traditional uh, thickness for earring posts, ear wires, that kind of thing. We make some bigger, we make some smaller, but 21 gauge is kind of the, I uh, kind of the most traditional, the most common. Anyway, uh, 10 millimeter long post LC006, oh, LC00101. How binary. Retail price 25 cents a pair and wholesale price 21 cents a pair. Nobody got that. No mathematicians in the audience either, eh? So we've got a history, we've got math so far, we've got uh, material science, we got everything going except jewelry. On top of jewelry, how could you go wrong? 20 gauge is this one, 11 millimeters long, LC00306, with a retail price of 48 cents and a wholesale price of 36 cents a pair. And the last one, LC00401, uh, 19 gauge, 11 millimeters long, 59 cents a pair is the retail price, 36 cents a pair is the wholesale price. So we've got uh, 19, 20, 21 gauge, uh, 18 gauge, so everything 21, 20, 18, and 19 gauge posts in a couple different lengths. Now, uh, here's a couple of other things that, I, again, I'm not sure why these are in with the earrings, but LW17 with a retail price of 56 cents a pair and a wholesale price of 51 cents a pair. Uh, and these are, I guess, little dangles. And you can dangle from your earrings. Although, golly, I would love to see somebody use these in like a watch or a clock. Just replace your clock. <laughs> <laughs> with these lovely uh, twisty heads. And it's like, you can never be too sure what time it is. Uh, and we have two sizes of these. Uh, I showed you the big one first. Uh, that one is um, 18 millimeters long. This one's only 15 millimeters long. LW15 uh, with a retail price of 46 cents a pair and a wholesale price of 40 cents a pair. And uh, let me just pull this out and show you that, right? So... It's just a cute little flat, um, twisty little dangle thing. And uh, as if that wasn't incongruous enough, I have another one that I'm sure should be in a different tray, but it's in this one. EW079 with a retail price of six forty-five dollars and a wholesale price of four oh three, dollars And this is uh, just a post, right, with a lovely... Um, I don't know, kind of swoop, swoopy thing deal. Uh, that becomes a loop that you dangle off the bottom, right? So this just sticks in your ear. That's what gets presented out the front and a little dangle to dangle your things from. How can you say no to this? And then we have two other um, things almost done with this tray. Um, ES013 with a retail price of two twenty and a wholesale price of a dollar fifty, um, and these are flat posts. With uh, I'm gonna pull this out. This is gonna be bent because uh, you know we have to you know put it in the uh, display thing. The, they've just got this flat post in this crazy shape. Now I I think the best use of these is uh, well I guess if you're a lapidary you can cut a stone. Uh, cab into that exact shape but I think that if you um, put this in a piece of foam or something so that the front of this is perfectly level and um, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say um, you could pour epoxy resin in there or put a little maybe a little uh, paste a little picture of something cute down in the bottom and then use clear epoxy resin um, 
the nice thing about most two-part epoxy resins is you can, uh, you know, they're obviously their surface tension is much, much higher than something really thin like water. So you can overfill these a little bit and you end up with like a little dome, a little bubble on the top of that. Um, not a bubble because bubbles are bad uh, <laughs> with your resin. Uh, but you get like a little dome on the top and it acts as kind of a magnifier of the light going through it. So you can get some very cool effects or you could just do some crazy things with... Uh, you know, colors or uh, what everybody's doing these days with like uh, cremation ashes, or um, you can mix up some epoxy with breast milk. I'm not even, whatever. <laughs> we sell a ton of this kind of jewelry to people who do that kind of stuff. So, uh, so we have this, uh, you know, star, I guess, square is shape, and this cute little heart. Um, same idea. ES100 with a retail price of two seventy and a wholesale price of a dollar sixty nine and that's that that heart. Um, now we've got some earring pads, right? Just these little flat studs that are used for soldering. ES09 with a retail price of ninety four cents and a wholesale price of fifty nine cents and. Um, so this is just a regular old flat, you know, pad that you can take this and glue this or solder this onto whatever. And uh, and that's it. That's all you need. And we've got this in, again, 3 millimeter and 4 millimeter. Uh, ES010 with a retail price of $1.27 a pair and a wholesale price of $0.81 cents a pair. And then we've also got a five millimeter version of that, right? Just the same idea, just a little bit bigger uh, pad. Maybe I could pull this out and show this to you. That way you can see what, right? The best version of what it looks like, right? Just a flat pad with that post soldered to it. And that just gets soldered to whatever. ES011 with a retail price of $1.31 a pair and a wholesale price of $0.82 cents a pair. Uh, and then we have a couple of variations on that same kind of thing. We've got these um, cup posts. You know what? Let me get out the biggest one of this. Um, I think that's this one, right? So these are um, kind of like, um, I don't know, uh, Champagne glasses are more brown, but you know what I mean, right? That kind of, um, I don't know. Uh, it's like a cone, a sharp cone with a nice 45 degree angle that you can glue a cut stone in there, a faceted stone, or um, something like that, right? So we've got this in two sizes, uh, or no, three sizes. Um... ES201 with a retail price of $2.63 a pair and a wholesale price of $1.57 a pair. And then we've got the 5mm version, ES203 with a retail price of $3.06 a pair and a wholesale price of $1.83. And uh, totally out of order, we've got the 4mm version of that, ES202 with a retail price of $2.82 a pair. And a wholesale price of a dollar sixty-nine a pair. Then we have a, a oh, oh sorry, I have another version. Of, the biggest one, six millimeter version of that, ES two hundred four, uh, with a retail price of three dollars and thirty cents a pair, and a wholesale price of a dollar ninety-eight. Again, six millimeter, nice big, uh, rectangular, rectangular kind of cup-looking thing. Then we have, and I'll show you the biggest one first, just so you can see what I mean by what it is. It's a kind of a round, I'm gonna pop this open. It's a round cup ear wire or uh, earring post, right? So it's like a hemisphere cup that you can glue. Ideally, you wanna glue the size sphere or pearl or post. Uh, or thing uh, into there because you want it to go all the way down to the bottom and you want as much surface area touching the uh, uh, the bead or the pearl or whatever you're gluing to there as possible. Um, this is uh, 
So the smallest version of this is three millimeters ES197 with a retail price of $1.57 a pair and a wholesale price of 95 cents a pair. And then we've got a three or sorry, a four millimeter version of that ES198 with a retail price of $1.87 and the wholesale price of $1.12. The five millimeter version ES199 with a wholesale price of $222 and uh, oh, sorry, the retail price of $222 and a wholesale price of $1.33. Right, the same. And that big six millimeter pair uh, that I showed you before, right, semicircle. ES200 with a retail price of $267 and a wholesale price of $1.60 a pair. Now there's another kind of abridged version of those. And uh, let me get out the biggest one. Is that it? Maybe this, I think. Yeah, six millimeter. Um, it's kind of like it's a curved cup but it's not like a complete hemisphere, the way those, you know, the previous ones are. These are just kind of domed uh, things. So you can obviously put uh, glue a pearl that's much bigger than these um, pads are, right? Oh, sorry, let me back and go back and start with the smallest one. The four millimeter version that we have, I think is the smallest one. I don't see a three millimeter here. $1.94 is a pair for the retail price. The wholesale price is $1.55 a pair. Uh, again, for that lovely half circle, not really half circle, but little domed cup. Uh, five millimeter ES165B, which makes me nervous. Uh, six millimeter version ES161. 231 a pair is a retail price and a dollar 39 is a wholesale price um let me have this one ESO7 437 a pair and the wholesale price is 273 a pair this is six millimeter one and this has uh, I don't know if you can see that there's a little loop down in the bottom of that but that's soldered onto the the piece in the back i think this is maybe the post code i'm not sure why they have that on there but it doesn't really do anything it doesn't pull out you can't really dangle anything from it let's see on the bigger one right ES07G, um, which just means this one is rhodium plated, uh, versus ES07 with a retail price of 437 a pair and a wholesale price of 273 a pair. And the rhodium plated one is ES07G, 459 a pair, and 291 a pair is the retail price. And then the last, um, or I should say maybe the uh, one of the last versions of these posts we have are uh, these is just a post with a flat pad or is that flatter oh no it's slightly domed um flattish kind of domed pad um with a post uh, that a cup and peg that you would uh, glue a pearl or something onto there just gives you a little more surface area um to glue a little pearl on there so if you need a little pearl um posts i guess these are what you need uh d01201 with a retail price of a dollar for a pair and a wholesale price of 074 cents a pair and we've got a little bit bigger version of this um d01202 with a retail price of dollar 24 a pair and a wholesale price of 88 cents a pair then the next biggest domed one we have is the five millimeter version, D01203, with a retail price of $1.29 and a wholesale price of 94 cents a pair. And, uh, right, so it's just a little curved. Again, uh, well, let me just I'll show you the biggest one and uh, 
give you a little explanation how they work. ES128 with a retail price of $3.19 a pair and a wholesale price of $1.91 a pair. This is, a, again, an 8 millimeter pad. It's kind of a domed pad, um, right, with a cup and peg that you would glue uh, your pearl on there. It's not a hemisphere, so you can get away with a little bit bigger version of a, a thing. You don't need to put an 8 millimeter stone in there. You could probably put a 10, maybe a 12. Probably a 10 would be best would be biggest um so anything from eight to maybe 10 or 11 you could put in there and uh, that just gets glued right to your actually now that i'm looking at the curve uh you can get bigger than that i would say confidently you can get up to probably a 12 millimeter pearl glued beautifully to that and then the, this is absolutely the last or i should say the penultimate kind of thing that we have um it's just a post, and instead of a curved pad, it's a flat pad um, with a cup and peg on there. So, um, I don't know. Uh, trying to think of when this would be useful. And I'm sure there's a hundred ways to use this that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, so, obviously not if you're... Uh, you know, I don't know, if maybe if you have like a, you know, a little cabochon, thin cabochon like maybe an amylite or something, and you, oh, that's a good idea. You have a cute little, you know, eight millimeter am, amylite button. Uh, you can drill a little hole straight in the back of that and glue that onto there with a little more security than you would if you were just gluing it onto a regular flat uh, pad. I like that, I'm going with it. <laughs> Here's the bigger version of this, right? Again, nice big flat pad with a cup and peg. Although it's not a cup, it's a pad and peg. Let me just make up names as we go. ES164 with a retail price of two oh three a pair and a wholesale price of a dollar twenty six a pair. And uh, the last thing I know normally the last thing I have is kind of this crazy wild spectacular thing, um, <laughs> but this week this is our crazy wild spectacular thing. The very last product I'm going to show you today, uh, EW709. With a retail price of 406 and a wholesale price of 270 a pair. Uh, now these are awesome because you can. It's just an ear wire, right? Obviously, with uh, a cup and peg, you know, dangling out the bottom that you can glue, you know, a pearl onto there. And uh, the pad off the top of my head that looks like um, I don't know, like a four millimeter pad but it's pretty shallow so i bet you could glue and there's a lot of surface area there to work with so you could probably glue something up to about a 10 or 12 millimeter pearl off the bottom of that and uh, you know how, how awesome would that be right just to have a very simple ear wire dangling with a great big pearl hanging off the bottom i love it and that is i can move this around oh. So that's it, and I'm like, I'm two minutes early. It's because we started on time. That's why. Normally I would be late by now, because I start late. You know, we start a few minutes late. Um, next week, uh, I've got a few more um, earring-ish things to go over, and uh, some of them are really cool. There's actually this one that is the kind of like... A version of this but not really the only thing that's the same really is the uh the part where you glue the uh, pearl to the bottom but uh so the bottom the rest of it is uh, a spider with like cubic zirconias all all of the it's definitely going to be the last thing that i show you uh, next week <laughs> so you could just uh i guess wait with anticipation why <laughs> Not even I am waiting with anticipation, so why would you? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, that's it. That's our earrings for this week. Uh, come back next week, Wednesday morning. Oh, Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time, and extrapolate it out to wherever you are, because if you're, like, on the East Coast, it's uh, already afternoon. Um, or if you're in Europe, it's, you know, evening ish so wherever you are um about an hour ago would be the time to uh join us maybe you're just hanging around facebook 
uh, and you see that little thing, hey, Sylvia Findings is doing a live stream. Why not? Click on it, see what happens. Uh, it's always fun. I always have fun doing these things. And uh, shows are starting up again, so uh, I think there's one coming up locally, um, maybe. Uh, end of, uh, no, beginning of August? No. When When is that Kitsilano show? Maybe happening. First weekend of August. Yeah, first weekend of August. We still don't know for sure. We don't have contracts yet from the uh, show promoter. I think they're waiting on direction from the um, from the city whether or not these kind of things will be allowed or not. I uh, personally, I got my second shot yesterday. Y yeah, yesterday. Um, so I I'm ready. Um, I'll still be wearing masks even though I'm in public or because I'm in public in a closed place with people who knows. Um, just, you know, just get the vaccination. Come on, how hard is it? It's science. Um, anyway, I'm not going there. We will see you next week, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, but in the meantime, keep making stuff. Keep uh, those creative juices flowing. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of the planet. Um, because as we established at the beginning of today's live stream, we're toast anyway. So do your best to take care of the planet. Maybe we'll figure out something um, that doesn't end up with us uh, on a planet that's uninhabitable like Mars or whatever. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not optimistic. How's that? Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of the planet. Take care of your mental health. And we will see you next week. All right. Bye-bye. I can turn this off. I can do it.